one. The first quarter update. So Tesla recently just unveiled their first quarter update. Um, and this has some really key numbers for us here. Uh, one of them is first the Model 3 production hit 2,270 cars per week produced in April for the third straight week over 2,000. So if you do the math on that, if you're looking at about $50,000 on average, uh, you're at about $100 million in revenue just from that one product per week, which is pretty amazing. Um, the Q1 auto gap, the generally accepted accounting principles, gross margin. So this is before a lot of the other expenses come in, but just kind of the top level number. Um, it's up sequentially by 80 uh, basis points and non-gap by 500 basis points. So big jumps over last year. They have $2.7 billion in cash on hand at the end of Q1. And their CapEx projection reduced from 3.4 to 3 billion. So they're actually becoming more capital efficient, meaning they're using their money more wisely which means they're going to then potentially, as the next one here, is that they'll have a net income and positive cash flow in Q3 and Q4 of 2018, which is amazing. And at that point, Tesla will really, really be a force to be reckoned with in the auto industry, not just the electric auto industry, in the overall auto industry. So it's one of those things that that um, the time is coming. And, uh, and and Tesla is uh, is is going to really be be a dominant dominant force here. Now they have this chart here, and it's uh, really low resolution, so I don't want to try to zoom in and show it to you. But uh, one of the interesting outcomes of this is that you know, and I've had uh, people ask me about this before. You know, worried about other car companies dominating the electric car market, and this chart kind of explains that we need to stop talking about Tesla as an electric car manufacturer and just, just a car maker in general, or you know more broadly as an energy company, because that's really what, what their goal is. And this chart here, what it's showing is that the Model 3 is on a monthly basis close to outperforming all other midsize premium sedans in the US. Now, a lot of these BMW, Audi, Mercedes, uh, you know, they're they're not U.S. You know, isn't their homeland, right? They've got all the places in Europe and stuff. So, uh, you know, th it, these cars and these car auto manufacturers are in no danger uh, of of like you know having having a problem here. Uh, but it's nice to know that Tesla in the U.S. is starting to dominate, um, and hopefully they will regain this by by the end of the year or close to the end of the year. Now, other things like a you know Toyota Prius, a Honda Accord, or Civic or whatever, those things sell in the millions per year. So I don't know if Tesla will ever overcome that. But when you look at this premium market, which is what the Tesla Model Three is, or really all Teslas are, they are becoming a serious contender. So they're no longer we we can we really should no longer be talking about Tesla as as an auto, uh, I'm sorry, as an electric car company, we need to be talking about them as as just a car company that is starting starting to dominate. So there's a lot more meat in uh, in this this article or in this paper here. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet and you want to dig into it, I'll put the link in the description after the show. Uh, it's at ir.tesla.com and you can find it there as well.